Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your March 2019 general reading. Um, yes, I know I have been on hiatus, but this is a really busy time in my life. So um, here I am now, okay? I'm just going to start it. It's a general reading. It will not resonate with all. Uh, sun, moon, rising. Uh, let's get started. So let's see what the situation is for Leo. What's going on for Leo? What's the advice for Leo? Okay. What's the partner's energy or the person that you're coming to the reading for? What's their energy? What's the outcome for Leo? Okay. Bottom of the deck, the hangman. Okay. Uh, some of you could be... going through the motions uh, participating in the monotony of life but not really participating in you know moving forward anything kind of the suspended anima animation um, watching things move around you and, and, and uh, watching how things unfold around you Trying to come to a place of seeing something from a different perspective. Um, thinking about what you'll do next. Waiting for that en enlightened period. Uh, waiting for the opportunity to move. Some of you are in a, a self-purgatory yeah, purgatory type of uh, situation. Beating yourself up about something. Uh, missed opportunity. Um needing to have patience waiting for something okay so the situation for leo is the hermit yeah we got the hermit and the hangman two major arcanas there's something big going on in your life you are evaluating your life by way of past experience you are in separation from um you fill in the blank you are uh, so the hermit governs the nines so we're talking about the nine of pentacles uh, the nine of wands the nine of swords the nine of uh, cups right all of those speaks of being in an energy where you are in separation from nine of cups a wish uh, I wish for make a wish it may come true because you are in separation from what you want what fulfills you emotionally none of wands um, separating from maybe a troublesome situation evaluating it uh, so some of you just are in se a separative if that's a word mode um, try to evaluate some of you going to experts speaking to them in regards to what to do next how to do it um some of you are going to present something so you're in a place of uh of preparedness prepare yeah preparedness uh or preparing preparation separation all the all the shuns you're you're away from okay um the advice here is the moon okay uh, the advice here is the moon this the sun and the moon the the light and the dark the good and the bad the normal and the abnormal it's it's um some of you are in separation from a situation uh or a person or whatever who you have deep feeling for you have deep feelings for this person but you feel like sometimes you guys are complete opposites two different people or two different things 
in your life here trying to marry the two. If it's another person, it's this is a person hiding deep feelings for another because you feel like you guys are very different, but you want the same outcome. What is this? This is a dog and a fox. They both bark at the moon. They're different though. Similar in some ways, but they're different. But they they both are barking at the moon. Um, you and another both um, want the same outcome here. To bark at the moon together. But you're so different. Something divides you two. A mentality of how you think. The, the the overflow of emotion is here. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Pisces here. You guys get into the signs, but something is a divide here. Also, some of you could be evaluating your your mental status and how you look at things mentally. You may be going over something. You may be speaking with a psychotherapist, counselor, or whatever, whomever. Um, and trying to marry the light and the dark of a situation, right? Okay. The, um, my hands are really dry. Um, so, you, how your partner feels, right? One second. I had to put something on my, my hands. I feel like they're really dry. It's still winter. Um, so, yeah. Here in the States. Okay. Feeling much better. Probably looking much better, too. All right. Um, all right. Your partners are the two of wands. So, they are... At a crossroads. Do I leave something that I was completely committed to. Tied to behind. And go to another. Way of uh, doing something. Growing in another. Direction. This is why you guys may be separated. Somebody is in complete contemplation about. How to move forward in this relationship. The, or the situation ship or this job or whatever you apply it to your life uh yeah so I'll tell you this your partner knows which way they should go they know intuitively you know they know by way of instinct and uh, intuition which way they should choose which is better Um, they're tied to one way they've been doing something but they but they also are not um, this is a person at a crossroads yes I've been doing something for a very long time I've been going on this path for a very long time but I, I know that there is another way I can go and I'm, I'm actually looking and uh, exploring that other way that other path because I'm at a crossroads now. Something is at a head. The outcome. Wow. The nine of wands. Nothing but separation within this. This union. I guess. Uh, if you want to call it that. Um, nine of wands. Uh, the outcome is. The both. Or you. Or the both of you. Are evaluating this troublesome relationship maybe due to jealousy uh, and greed for some of you um, looking at the situation from afar now even if you're not physically separated from a person you could be in the home with someone you could share home 
with someone but there is mental emotional uh, separation uh, nines talk about the ending right now an ending is normally when you're a little bit more mature in life it doesn't come most times abruptly it's gradual you know you know it's ending you know how you feel the other person knows how they feel uh, but who's going to be the first to make the real decision to allow the ten of wands that would be a complete ending the laying down of what may be deemed as a burden right uh, so yeah um, that's that's the outcome let's see if we can gather some more information why is Leo the hermit why is Lemo Lemo why is Leo the hermit why is Leo the hermit okay wow and then you come out king of clubs you're at a place of really um evaluating your desires and your want what you're passionate about now this could be in uh Hey, sorry about that Leo okay so you're at a place of evaluating what it is you want what it is you desire um, you're just you're, you're evaluating your desires um, are they legitimate you're evaluating your mental how you're thinking about things you know Even for some of you, how you think about others. Oh, so let's see. Um, one more card for the Hermit. Okay. The King of Spades. Wow. Yeah, some of you could be visiting psychiatrists, therapists, an expert, a person who passes judgment, or, or it is just and fair judgment. Uh, the King of Spades. He is, uh, or she is, um, fair, is just. To go to this person is, is a really good idea. Okay? Uh, so, yeah. Um, some of you could be separated from another fire sign or this could be you in another air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius typically this is Libra or Aquarius can be Gemini but most times it's not um yeah so that could be that also you're evaluating something in regards to that these two people okay the moon king of hearts yeah cancer Pisces Scorpio typically Pisces and Scorpio can be cancer um, this is a person you have deep feelings for. You love this person. They possibly love you. Uh, this is a person who has their emotions under wrap. They know when to completely... They know when to hold them and when to fold them when it comes to emotions. They know when to express how to express. Um, this person uh, likes to keep exes around because it feeds the ego. Also, uh, this person... Um, this could be you, Leo. This could be someone else. This person, um, they're cautious about emotions because they can be emotionally manipulative, even w when they don't want to be. Sometimes they're so great at governing their emotion. Three of Wands gossip uh, dissension um, separation and anticipation you may be anticipating message from Cancer Pisces Scorpio and the two of wands for your partner nine of cups lots of nines here 
Um, your partner wants wish fulfillment. It says make a wish, it very well may come true. They are without something or someone. Wow, nine of diamonds. Your partner is definitely manifesting greatness, endings, the uh, endings in their life, um, ending to five of spades. Okay, they may be dealing with a bit of um, interference, reversal. What I'm hearing is your partner thought they were over something. They thought it was done and it was over. Something is coming back around. Either you, Leo, or, or something's coming back around. Uh, interference in what they, they hope and wish for. What they have done the work for in regards to what is tangible. In regards to, they even they could this your partner could be a business owner, have a business opportunity that they want to embark on. They're a bit a bit restless where they are. Um, they are at a place where the possibility of them being single much longer. Um, the possibility of them being single much longer is uh, you know, shortened. They're not going to be single much longer. You know, the nine of Pentacles. Um, they might be coming back to you. To be done with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The outcome. Got to get out of here. The outcome. So after evaluation, the nine of wands, someone comes with a message. This is a younger someone. This is a an immature person, but they're well-meaning. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you may be separated from this person. They may come back to you offering their truth, their words about the situation. Or vice versa. This is this. Uh, ooh. This might be a Cancerian person. We get two offers. They're offering offering words. They're offering their love. They're offering emotional fulfillment. Uh. Yeah. Or this could be you. This could be vice versa. Eight of Cancellation. So one's having an, enough strength to mentally come out of a place of feeling like they can't move. The old way of thinking is canceled. Now there's a new way. There's also possibly an ending here. Wow. Jack of Clubs. Nothing but offers in the in the in the end. Then the nine of club at the bottom of the deck. We have the nine of wands here. New boyfriend, new girlfriend. Uh, secret admirer. This could be you, Leo. This could be someone you're dealing with. There's like relationship dynamics are playing full effect here. You could have somebody new coming in, you could be ending something. Um, you can have somebody waiting in the wings for you, or you're waiting for the opportunity to go back to them. I mean, it can go so many different ways. Leo, uh, because um, volunteer, volunteer and information so that someone can uh, figure out what it is they, what path they want to take. What do they do next? Family changes. 
uh, moving in a home, moving out of a home, purchasing a home, selling a home, new baby, new dog, new car. Uh, family changes just constitutes everything. Separation, divorce, marriage, moving. Some of you are moving. This is a... Now, it could be a proverbial move, like I'm moving away from this person um, emotionally and mentally, or I'm moving away from an old way of thinking, or it could be an actual physical move. Um, Self-care. Right. Yep. I think you guys are co completely worried about self, especially the advice for you is to evaluate how you feel about a person, evaluate your feelings, your passion, your desire, uh, support, and it is here for you. Okay. Join in. Join a group of like-minded individuals who share your same or similar interests, hobbies. Yeah, some of you are going to present something to the world. Some of you are in that place of being off to yourself so that you can then come back and and ta-da um some of you i mean it's so many different things in this reading like it's me trying to leave one situation behind to go to another some of you have somebody new coming in some of you need to determine if you're going to stay stay with a person anyhow um three cards of advice for Leo to close out the reading. Um, I'm not doing extended readings this month. Probably next month either. Uh, but I am having. Um, I am offering um, $5 yes or no questions. Can't beat that with a stick. A yes or no question. Uh, should I leave? Should I embark on this new business venture? Um, is he cheating? Is she cheating? Um. Will they come back to me? Will they communicate with me? Um, will I be able to move home? You know, when you say move, please be specific. Um, yes or no questions, okay? So, if it's not yes or no, then it, it you probably need a full reading. So, all right. So I am offering that. The link will be below for the yes or no question. All right. Okay, I think exactly three came out. King of Cups, Two of Swords, Four of Pentacles. It says, um, Some of you are choosing to stay blind about or not make a decision about um, how you actually feel, how much you are in love with a particular person, or how much you there. There's fondness, yeah, fondness, love, um, an overwhelming feeling toward a particular person. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, yet you hold on to your feelings. You hold on to them too. The Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Maybe some of you are doing this, Leo, because you are already partnered. You are the married man. This is manly energy. I'm not even going to say woman. Um, the married man. The um, Some of you are holding on to water signs. Some of you just holding on to any sign. But you've got to make a decision here. What are you doing? You intuitively know what to do okay and so there's the advice remember five dollar yes or no questions below also there are full readings on the website all information is below leo thank you for tuning in uh know that i'm praying for you pray for me as well take care guys